After nearly five years of appeals, Judge Tracy Hunter is about to be sentenced for illegally helping her brother. She could get off with probation or receive the maximum six-month jail sentence. If you are to do six months in the Hamilton County Justice Center, credit one day, Mr. or Ms. Deputy can take her away. The judge goes ahead and imposes the six-month sentence. Immediately, the courtroom erupts. Her supporters are gasping, they're yelling, and someone seems to charge the defense table. When she goes limp and being dragged out, it was horrific. You could hear the screeching. You could hear people crying. Very passive aggressive, just uh, kind of planks out and, and is dragged, literally dragged, from the courtroom, her heels scraping on the carpet. At this point, in my mind, she's non-compliant. She's uncooperative. She won't stand up and just walk out of the courtroom with a little bit of dignity. You could see the look in her eye and her body language like, this is not reality. This isn't happening. What is going on? I am a judge. I used to be in that position. I would consider that a minor protest. She wasn't going to fight with the officers, so you know what? You're going to have to bring me back there on your own. Once in the hallway, Judge Hunter walks on her own as deputies escort her to the elevator. There, she changes out of her high heels before going to jail. It's probably an out-of-body experience. I don't think anybody goes in with the dream of becoming a judge and having that dream end in prison time. After the sentencing, there was an eruption in the community. There were many supporters of this former judge who didn't think that the guilty verdict and the eventual sentence was a fair one. We cannot keep allowing this to happen to our people. They felt that if she were a white judge, this would not have happened. The idea that the sitting judge was going to be sent to prison just really shocked the whole crowd. Despite the protests, Judge Norbert Nadell, who handed out the original sentence, insists race did not play a factor and stands by his ruling of six months in jail. I went through every court, and every court agreed with what I did five years ago. An elected public official is held to a higher standard uh, than anybody else. After the chaos in the courtroom, Judge Hunter begins serving her six months in jail. When you've lost your career, when your name has been ran through the mud, I think it's unfair to then have to go to jail. She's a model citizen, just made some mistakes and irritated the judicial system. 